Nearly two weeks ago, the city of Burke was hit by an F1 tornado and winds reaching up to 100 miles per hour. Well, during that time, the lumberyard, school, and civic center were severely damaged. Many people came together to clean up. To show how well the community has worked together, one Burke teenager put a video together. Kello Land's Sarah McDonald gives you a look. Earlier today, I spoke with Sally Haken, who has been working on a special video ever since the storm hit small town South Dakota and has now gained a lot of attention online with close to 400 shares on social media. Sally Haken is just one of the people who helped her community clean up after the storm knocked down trees and damaged homes and buildings. She also wanted to showcase how the community came together to be Burke strong. That's why she created this video. I really wanted to show how Burke is strong, and that's where the hashtag came out of that. And I made the video strongly about our community because I've never seen anyone come out. I mean, I've saw everyone out of their houses and working and smiles on their face, so I was really enjoying that. From people picking up debris to handing out water, this video sheds light on how this South Dakota town is staying positive in the wake of a tragedy. A lot of it was just of people working on the streets and just waving, and we made the most out of it. I mean, everyone was happy trying to get everything cleaned up and kind of left the tears behind and have the happy roads ahead. Her video has also gained a lot of attention online. A lot of positive feedback came from my video. I think it's because of all the memories that went through their town, and they know a lot about Burke. I mean, it's only, what, 700 people in our town, but... Yeah, a lot of people were really happy with it. Another reason for this community to be Burke strong. I wanted to do it because I thought it was really amazing how our community really came together in a short amount of hours. At the end of the video, Haken also included interviews with her teachers and coaches whose classrooms were affected by the storm. She also says she was amazed that businesses were able to open back up within a short amount of time after the storm. All right, thanks, Sarah.